Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you how to get started with Zoho Recruit. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to read this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are the key takeaways we're going to talk about today. First, uh, Zoho Recruit is essentially an applicant tracking system. And through this system, you can manage all your communications with hiring managers, scheduling interviews, job offers, etc. And you can also um, manage all communications with candidates, including the offer letter, scheduling interviews, um, etc. So let's go into Zoho Recruit and go over what we have here. So this first, um, we're now in the home screen, and you can see that we have several different dashboards here available. If you're just getting started here, you can have a few different options. You can migrate from another ATS, you can add users from your recruiting team, personalize this system, add a career site, do some automations, and integrate your email inbox. The other thing you'd want to do if you were just starting is you'd want to go up to this um, tools in the top right corner, click on setup, and then within here you can um, create your users. You can um, set up a portal if you want to. One important thing to see here is that you can have job boards integration. So you can decide once you have a job opening, are you going to publish it to your website? You can say yes or no. Then the job boards, you can, um, you can go through different job boards and decide if you're going to enable or, or not. Um, and you can get warnings, but then you can, you can always add in as many job boards as you want all through the site. And then you have the choice, like here with Indeed, whether you want them to be able to apply with Indeed, etc. Um, also from here, you can set um, resume management if you have different ways that you have want your resume inbox to be. Um, you can set up a portal so that um, people can apply into here. Uh, different different things like that as well. Let's go back to home now. And then if we go to job openings, I did create one job opening. and um, But at the same time I created in here, you can import job openings and you can, um, you can either mass import them or delete them. You can import them from somewhere else or you can create them directly here, which is what I did. So when you have a, a job opening here, you can see what happens is this one's in progress since I published it. The title of the job description is the title of the job is product manager. Um, the target date is March 31st. Is a city in engaged? And then you can click on show details, and then you can see the details of of the job. The industry is communications, um, and uh, when it opened was March 21st. It's a full time job etc. The job is in progress, like we said. And then we have the description um, that you can create as well. And I'll show you in a minute how you can actually create this. You can um, make notes for users in case there's anything specific to this job that you want to add. And then you'll see all your attachments. At, once you get to the point of an offer letter, you'll be able to generate the offer letter directly from here. Here we have a candidate already scheduled for an interview. You can always schedule other interviews. Um, and, and various other things. And the benefit here is that you're doing everything just from this job opening and you're not having to go to uh, multiple screens because you have all the related lists here. And then you have actions here. You can associate candidates. You can schedule the interview. You can publish this. Uh, you can find matching candidates. And then um, you can organize the details. You can generate your offer letter, etc. So here, just before we go into create one, um, just show you that I did associate one candidate. And then you can see who that candidate is. And you can see at the top, we've moved from job openings to candidates. And this is the candidate that's been associated with this job. And if we open the candidate, we can see as an interview scheduled for sample job opening, um, some basic information, uh, if we had wanted to put it all in, experience in years. Uh, and then down here we have a resume attached so you can either attach it or once it's attached it'll flow into here as well 
if you were had off, created a, uh, an offer letter, that would be here for interviews. So again, similar to the job openings, you can manage everything from the candidate itself. And then instead of associated candidate, now under the candidate, we have the associated job opening. And if I click that back, you go back into the job opening, the sample job opening. So here, let's go back to, um, Let's go back to job openings. And then I can show you if you click on the plus sign to create the job, you can do the title and the department name, any of the other information that you want. You can write the job description here. One thing to note is that you need at least 150 words for the job description. You have the job description, you have the requirements for the job, benefits if you want to talk about um, the company benefits, vacation, etc. Um, any other information you want to attach about the job, you can do that. And once you, and you can also choose a job template um, for a specific type of job. Like let's say this is a sales executive, some of the information would just flow right in here, and actually some text would. And then you can use this as a starting point, customize it as you need to, what the right um, requirements would be, and then obviously the benefits would be um, specific to your company. Um, and again, you can. You can change this depending on what you want or not use it at all. And then when you're done, this is where you would save. You can either save the job description or you can save and publish it. And if I click save and publish it, what you will get is um, you will get this warning here that says as per job board and career website policies, you have to provide basic information, city, state, province. I didn't do that. So I have to go in and provide that information. And I will do that. New York. Um, zip code. Um, that's a New York zip code. And now if we go into save and publish it, we need a department name. Oh, we never actually create. OK, so I'll just call this um, sales. New department will be created because we don't have that department already. To save and publish. And then this is where you can provide some details, job type, this is permanent, keywords, we'll just put sales for now, contract type, uh, we can say this is permanent. If we wanted to add in any of this other information, we could proceed. And then you can choose the um, job boards that you want to include here. Now, I'm actually not going to go in and do that, so I'm going to go um, back now but you'll see we have our two job openings here as well and that we've gone through how you do the job openings next you have the candidates and this is where you have your candidates we have um, here's Jane Doe this is a new candidate and um, we can have the candidate origin here and then we have we can put our information in and um, how many years experience etc we have a resume attached and again any offer letters or anything like that. You can add in some other information here, LinkedIn, resume, and then the actions here to associate this. Let's say you knew that based on this these characteristics, there's a certain job opening that you think would be good for this person. You can associate that job. You can send them an email or a text. You can submit to a hiring manager directly from here or you can schedule an interview. And then within here, you can generate the offer letter and a few other things as well. So if we go back here, you can see we have John Smith, who is interview, is, has an interview scheduled, and Jane Doe is new. So you have different stages of where a candidate can be. If we move over to um, interviews, you can see we have that John Smith interview scheduled. And if I click on that, you can see you have um, the date of the interview at March 28th from at 2 p.m. ends at 3 p.m. You can add some notes um, and you have like a calendar invite you can include as well. And then when you're done with this interview, the hiring manager can actually go right in and put their recommendation um, in here. And if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to add some comments, you could. And then you can always change the candidate style uh, status say if they're hired, 
if they're um, just based on your interview, if you think they're qualified, we can put qualified here. I put that as save. Now, if we go back to candidates, we can see that John Smith's candidate status has now changed to qualified for this job opening. Now, what we could do, we have, we go back to John Smith. We can also associate him if we think maybe he's good for the sales executive job. We can um, associate him with that job as well. And you can do that. Here, plus a plus sign, select John Smith, say associate now, associate, and now if we go back to the job opening, we see we have an associated candidate. If we go back to the um, John Smith, he is now associated with the sales executive role rather than the um, product manager role. And you can see that his um, his status is associated because he's no longer um, he was qualified for the other job, the product manager job, but not this job. So we also have the source boosters where you can um, find other sources for candidates, and you can configure these from other external um, sites as well. So we we walk, we looked at the interviews. And then the next section we have is departments. We have the sales department and my company. And if you go into sales department, you can have some information here. You can see what job openings they have, how many interviews they have, hiring managers, etc. So you, so you as a recruiter can manage by departments and not have to be as confused on who you're working with. We can have some campaigns if we want. And then we have reports. We have a lot of different reports in here. We have um, an interview report. We'll show you know how many interviews you have. You can do a lot with this. You can filter this report um, by the department name, um, when it was you know you can do what interview was, um, candidate, etc. You can um, decide which columns you're going to have in here, and then you can decide to export this report. You can send it via email, and if you do that, it does not have to be to um, to somebody that's already in this Zoho Recruit. You can edit this or duplicate it, create a chart. If you go in here, there's lots of different um, reports. Here's open job openings, and this will have the two that we have in here. And you can again customize that. We have a lot of different options here. Um, you also have other other things that you can do. You have assessments. Let's say you wanted to do some pre-screening before a candidate ever got to an interviewer. You have some pre-screening assessments you can create, you can edit, you can you know have candidates go through those and you can always publish those on your website or send them out to them after they apply. You can um, you can add assessments if you want, etc. In addition, you can do to-dos, you can do emails, um, you can put an end username in and send, uh, send emails, and then you have documents. This is where you can house documents that you know you're going to need to send out um, on a frequent basis. So if we go back to um, home, again, we have on the dashboard here, time to fill, you can track by job or by department, any information on time to fill or time to hire candidates, the age of a job. We have two jobs here. Based on the, the date that they were supposed to be filled by, you can track that. Offer acceptance rates, um, activity log, this will track everything that you want here, and then a pipeline view and where we are with these two jobs and any of the other jobs that we have as well. So if we go back to our key takeaways, what you can see here in this high-level view of Zoho Recruit is that Zoho Recruit is an applicant tracking system, and it can manage all types of communications with the hiring managers and candidates, whether it be scheduling interviews, uh, offer letters. You can use the system to publish job openings either on a website or in the various recruiting sites.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions you may have about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.